Hey guys, this is John from Power on Fun. In today's video, we'll be unboxing and taking a close look at the electric scooters offered from GoTracks, the XR and the XR Ultra. We are unboxing the new GoTrax XR Ultra, which is nearly identical to the XR in terms of its packaging as well as the design and the controls. Timestamps can be found in the description below if you want to jump to a different part in this video. I purchased the GoTrax XR Ultra directly from GoTrax on its US release this year, January 2020. From order date to arrival to my door, it took five days. GoTrax offers free shipping as well as shipping updates via email and text. The XR was provided to me by GoTrax. I'm not obligated to anyone to review this with good reviews or any of my other product reviews. I do my best to provide clear and sound information in my reviews. I'm an Amazon and GoTrax affiliate, so all the links in my description below are affiliate links at no additional cost and help provide support for the channel. The box the scooter came in was 39 inches by 14 inches by eight and one fourth inch. The scooters are 43 inches long from front wheel to rear wheel, 43 and a half inches tall from the ground to the top of the tiller, and five and a half inches from the ground to the top of the deck. The deck is 18 inches long to give a good comfortable ride. The parts and assembly of the tiller and the brake line onto the scooter neck are the same on both models. Attach the end of the brake line to the brake lever, then carefully attach the tiller to the handle, which also seats the neck onto the battery inside. The XR and XR Ultra are visibly identical but have little subtle differences and are priced differently as such. At the moment of release, the XR runs $300, where the XR Ultra will run you about $100 more at $400. However, GoTrax runs sales throughout the year uh, on many of their electric devices, such as hoverboards and scooters, uh, so be on the lookout for that. The big differences in the XR and the XR Ultra is their battery. The XR and XR Ultra design internals are virtually identical to their previous models, the GXL and the GXL V2 or the V2. The Ultra has a 300 watt hub motor where the XR has their previous standard motor of 250 watts. What this may mean to us as riders is that the new hub motor supplies a little bit more power to accelerate as well as to get up steeper inclines. Battery in the Ultra is a 36 volt 7 amp battery compared to the XR's 36 volt 5.2 amp hour battery. GoTrax lists the travel distance on the Ultra to be 16 miles compared to the XR, which is 12 and a half miles. When weather is warmer and dry, I'm gonna do some more distance testing on both. They both offer the standard GoTrax rear brake disc system, support up to a 220 pound rider, allow a max speed of five and a half miles per hour. Uh, they have an IP54 water resistant, waterproof rating, uh, LED front lights, automatic cruise control, and eight and a half inch pneumatic air fill tires. They're also both listed as having regenerative braking like the previous models. However, I have no way to check that, to gauge it, these new GoTrax scooter models have a very nice cosmetic improvement. The previous gen were just a flat black look, kind of plain. Uh, the new color scheme is more modern and clean looking. They have a company branding label on the neck, similar to that of the bird scooters seen in many big cities. They also have an added warning sticker on the throttle for the automatic cruise control, as well as a laser etched stop sign warning on the brake handle. They improve the strength of the molded locking tab on the rear fender for when the tiller is folded down. They also added this time a built-in locking pin for when the scooter is folded, closed, or folded open. It takes a minute to figure out how to engage and disengage, but it does work as intended. And it adds a little bit of riding safety uh, in the event that the scooter is not locked totally. Uh, it makes sure it's locked totally in place. I have several more GoTrax scooter videos coming soon. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the bell for more content like this. It helps me to provide more content to others like you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.
Take care, power on, and have fun.